What up, Alex? What are you guys doing here? Matt, you invited us. Oh, that was today. You know what? I'm finishing up a workout. Come on in. Gotta stay hydrated. Let's get back out there. Now that we've finished with my little morning therapy session, ask me some questions. What does recovery mean to you? Repairing what was tore up. Whether you had a rough week and it was mentally draining, or you know you had a tough week of workouts and your body's all beat up, uh, it's coming home, resetting your mind, resetting your body, and taking care of it. So everything you see behind me um, was pretty much done by me and the help of some other guys. I put this turf in myself. We built this gym equipment uh, with the Lyco. And I think having the outdoor space allows me to work out in the elements, which is something I'm very big on. Push come to shove, end of the world is here. It's not gonna be air conditioned and it's not gonna be comfortable. So I like working out in the elements. It gives me an extra edge. <laughs> Favorite part of the day, guys. Ooh, guys, this is my trainer, Juan, and recovery specialist. He's helped me in so many ways in getting back to my best self, um, mainly by torturing me on this table here. Oh, oh, that cracked. Let's get limber. Here, Coop. Flexibility is a very key part of recovery for me. I've never been super flexible. My hips have always been tight. So getting loose, is number one because you could be super strong and look like you know this ultimate bodybuilder but if you're not functional there's really no point in having all that muscle and then how i'm treating myself on a daily basis and that goes as far as you know your thoughts so if i'm not feeling my best i can't be my best a lot of my meditation has to do with breath work it helps me to pay attention to, you know, the, the sounds of nature. I like to focus on five seconds in, hold for five seconds, five seconds out, hold out for five seconds, and then repeat. It helps me to just dial in and execute. Next up, we have my favorite piece of recovery equipment, the sauna from Plunge. I personally like to do the sauna first and then the cold plunge typically because it makes it a little bit easier to get into the plunge. And they've been so uh, impactful in my life. I dealt with a very serious injury. I got hit by a car and I'm still dealing with injuries. I've had 20 surgeries now. So uh, recovery is just so important to me. All right guys, I'm gonna hang out in here for the next 20 minutes and I'll see you in a bit. This one right here is a love-hate relationship. It is one of my favorite pieces, but also it never gets easier. Every single time I gotta get in this thing, I procrastinate, but I think that's the beauty of it. The mental aspect that you get from, you know, conditioning yourself to be able to get into 39, 40 degree water every single day, that procrastination aspect has completely left my life. Smaller tasks throughout the day after I finish something like this are completely a breeze. Before this cold plunge, I used to work out and have like a maybe four to five day recovery period with soreness, lactic acid buildup and different things like that to where if I do this twice a day, I get up the next morning and you know, the inflammation's gone, the joint pain is gone. It really helps combat the arthritis. All right guys, so we're entering Cooper's favorite time of the day. And that's when I throw on my Norma Tech and sit in the theater. I like to unwind, throw on some NBA games, maybe a UFC fight, and just kind of bring the day to a close. Maybe. See you later. Thanks for coming.